That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Locked. Give me a moment. It must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. I've always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. That's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. Britain will win this war. You always see preferred to the prophet. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight. He's like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Don't let him escape! Get him! The Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Surround them! Church. I'll tell you anything you want, 
Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no, don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father.
welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. To half sail! It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. Enemy ahead! They're making to flee! After them! We need more speed! Eat her off! To half sail. Bring it to half sail, man. All into half sail. Him. What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift! We still have a chance!
ending this. What has Church done with the cargo? Benjamin, a dream you sought to destroy. And for that, my fallen friend, you will be made to pay. Enough. We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. <laughs> Where are the supplies you stole? Go to hell. I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond that. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. Dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, 
who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. Samanios Ginaha, the Tiahne de Gantu Titogaske. He did well, right? His passing was a boon for his birth. Come on! I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order. Allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
Had better tell me what happened. Go with my friendship somewhere else.
There we was, eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bale when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we were poaching, having crossed into their territory a month or so hence. Their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full piece, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina. Just 
just distract him for a moment, and we'll take what we need. Too many eyes on him. Oh, We'd be in your debt, sir. These two chase anything. We'll take anything you can offer. Us. These two chase us and beat us when they can. You could draw them away. We could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. to know what the loyalists are planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark 
I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, it'll help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go.
to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make me We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. More cheerful diversion at all times of year.
make sure work of you. <laughs> <laughs>